Hi, welcome. Sorry to interrupt. This is very important, so read this note quickly. Hmm, that's strange. Oh, hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these kind of claw heart notes. And you can write like a silly joke and give it to a friend or something. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to tell you what the materials are. So these are the materials. So all you're going to need is like you could use pens or pencils or markers or crayons. You could use anything you could draw or color with. I just got a simple pencil. And you're going to need scissors. And make sure you have scissors scissors that you can cut with because you don't want to hurt yourself. So let's get started. So first I got a piece of paper over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn it this way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have to fold it in half. You need to fold it like you're folding a birthday card. So, I'll be back when I unfold this. So, as you can see, I folded it in half. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to take a marker, crayon, pencil, crayon, pencils, whatever you have at home to, that you could draw with, is you're going to draw half a heart. So, I'm gonna so let's draw it. So, whoopsie, I made a mistake, but that's okay. So, I'm just going to do it on this side, which is, yeah, that's how you draw it. It kind of got wonky, but when I'm cutting with the scissors, I'll make sure I make it straight. So now let's cut. So you guys could cut this with me. So yeah, and you're supposed to draw the heart the side you folded it not the side that you can open it and you're supposed to cut on the line because if you do it the other way it's not going to work so I cut it out and now ta-da I have a nice heart like this one and now what we're going to do is we could write on it we could draw on it you could do anything you like. To. So, I'm going to take a few markers and colored pencils and lots of stuff. So, I just grabbed a few stuff. Like two stuff. Um, so, I could color it in and I'm going to show you me coloring it. You could do the same design that I'm doing. We're going to see what design I'm doing in a moment. So as you can see, I draw a nice leaf, and now I'm going to take my kind of like highlighter kind of marker, and I'm going to draw some flowers. I'm going to draw like a spring heart. Oh 
yeah, I'm doing the outside of the heart. As you can see, I'm just decorating it a bit. So then check out part two when we're going to write the note. But I'm just showing you how to make it and decorate it, how you could decorate it. So as you know, it's spring right now. So you could draw so many kinds of beautiful spring stuff. Like lots of different spring stuff. Like butterflies, flowers, bees. Lots and lots of stuff you could draw. So I'll be back with when I have a few more colors. So as you can see, I grabbed a blue and a yellow and a brown. So right now what I'm going to do is like I could draw some like berries and I'm going to color the sky. So everyone could tell it's kind of springy out. Here. So I did the sky, now I'm going to do some berries, but before I do that, I'm going to draw some bushes for the berries to be on. So I draw a little bush on the corner, so I'm going to color that in. So I colored in the little bush. And now I'm going to draw the blueberries. And you could draw lots of different berries. And you could use lots of different colors. It's your option. I decided to draw these. So that's what I'm going with. Now I'm going to draw a little bumblebee and a butterfly. So first let's start off with the bumblebee. So right now I'm just going to draw a little circle in this bright, like it's kind of an oval, not really a circle, in this, and I'm going to do it in this really bright yellow color, super bright. So now I'm going to draw the little lines with this brown. So now I'm going to draw the head of the bumblebee and draw the antennas. So that's a bumblebee, but we're not finished yet. We just need to draw the wings and then I'll be like a real bumblebee. And on the other side. So yeah, and draw. Grab it on that one. And now we should draw the butterfly. So let's start over here. Where the yellow butterfly, where it has the yellow outline. And what I'm gonna do is take this nice light blue kind of color and I'm gonna just draw some patterns. So I draw some flowers. Now I'm gonna take this nice pink and draw some lines as you can see here and 
Now I'm gonna draw some a, some dots here. So now what I'm gonna do is just take this blue and draw a little line in the middle. So it kind of divides and turns it into a butterfly. And over here I'm gonna take the yellow and make the little head. So here's the butterfly. How about we draw one more thing? And I decided how about a cute little bunny in the bushes. So now what I'm gonna do is take the yellow and draw the ears and now I'm just gonna color it in with the pink. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to to make this bunny kind of is gonna pop up and this bunny is also gonna pop up but you can't really see it yet because it's still hiding in the bushes. So yeah, that's for all. Bye, subscribe, give this video a like, and hit the bell icon so you know when I post another video. And don't forget to see part two of this video. Bye, and thanks for watching.